Within our solar system, we are the fourth largest planet. After us, we are dwarfed by Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, and our own star, which is 93 million miles away from us, the Sun. The Sun is a pretty big star, but it's nowhere near the sizes of other stars that we know about. To name just a few larger stars for perspective, there is Eta Carinae, a star that is over 5 million times larger than our Sun. Betelgeuse, 300 times larger than Eta Carinae. If it were our Sun, it would reach as far out as Jupiter. And then there's UY Scuti, the largest star that we know of. UY Scuti's mass is unknown, but before UY Scuti comes VY Canis Majoris, a star that is 5 billion times the size of our Sun. We are a part of the Milky Way galaxy. There are trillions of stars in our galaxy, and nearly all of them are circled by at least one planet. Within our Milky Way galaxy, we are not the only solar system. So far, astronomers have found more than 500 solar systems, and are discovering new ones every year. Scientists estimate that there may be tens of billions of solar systems in our galaxy alone. Traveling out 150,000 light years, you can see just how small even stars like UY Scuti is within our galaxy. It takes our sun 200 million years to complete an orbit of the Milky Way, and 2.5 million light years away is the Andromeda Galaxy, estimated to collide with our own galaxy in a few billion years. And using the Hubble Deep Field, or HDF, we can see a very small series of space and observations by the Hubble Space Telescope itself. It shows hundreds of galaxies. Five billion light years out is the cosmic web, where billions and billions of galaxies are estimated to reside. And finally, 200 million light years out is the cosmic microwave background radiation afterglow, is what we believe that started us. The only thing estimated to be left of the Big Bang.